Bushcraft 412. Today I want to talk about the Alice Pack. I saw one of my subscribers, oh, forgive me for, for not remembering your name to give you a shout out, but one of my subscribers had a video on Alice Packs and it got me thinking. I haven't used my Alice Packs in a long time. Um, I actually have four of them. I kind of have like a backpack problem in that I buy <laughs> tons and tons of them. Uh, but I have four Alice Packs. Um, this one here, the one on the left, is a large Alice pack with the frame. The one on the right is a medium with no frame. Um, I wanted to dig these out because these were actually my first two backpacks right here. Um, I got these, geez, maybe 10 years ago, I think. I got them. I was, uh, just getting into backpacking and, uh, you know, regular backpacking equipment is very expensive. Um, and at the time I was kind of a... A broke, you know, just out of college, you know, guy didn't have much money. It was shortly after September 11th, and you know, I was getting into backpacking, you know, after college, and you know, backpacking was kind of my, you know, my first love. It was, it was the thing that really got me back into the outdoors after college, and you know, I just didn't have the money to buy a pack. So a friend of mine said, just go buy a military surplus pack, and there I go to the Army Navy, and ended up coming back with this uh, large pack on the left. And then uh, shortly thereafter, I believe I ordered the medium online. I got that for like 19 bucks on a sale. Uh, not in as good a condition as the large, but, you know, you get what you pay for. And I used these things for probably like three or four years until I kind of got myself into a better financial situation and was able to buy a couple nicer actual backpacks made for backpacking. Uh, but I've got probably, you know, I wouldn't doubt it if I got, you know, 150, 200 miles on this one on the left. And easily 50 or 100 miles on this uh, little medium, which I tend to bring more for just like little overnight trips. Um, I have a large, another large with a frame, and then I have a uh, a smaller one, but I believe it's not real uh, military surplus. I believe it's an aftermarket one um, that basically is ripping off the Alice packs. So let's get down close and take a look at these. The Alice packs were kind of the precursor to the Molly stuff. They uh, came up with the idea of straps and clips and all that fun stuff. And, uh, it's, you know, they've kind of, uh, things have changed a lot since then, but uh, they are an external frame pack. As you can see, the pack has a nice hip pad, or kidney pad if you call it, and it keeps it far off your back. There's a nice gap in there, so it really stays a ways off your back. Um, you know, you can get the frame out, so if you don't like the frame, you can actually pull this out, um, which is nice, because I don't always like to keep it in the frame. Um, another nice feature of these is that you can replace the straps. When these get old and junky, you can go online and buy aftermarket ones, or even old, you know, military surplus ones to replace them, because they're not the most comfortable, so, you know, it is nice that you can replace them. Uh, same, you can replace the, you know, the great thing about the Alice Pack, there's so much you can buy for them. Because these things have been around for, you know, who knows, 30, 40 years at least. Um, these are a basic top-loading backpack uh, with nice lots of straps that you can cinch everything down with. Um, let's go to the main pack first. The main pack, I know this is tough to see because you're looking at green on green here. But there is a uh, kind of a secondary pouch in here uh, where you can put smaller items. It runs about half length to here. And then you have your main pouch, which is very big. It holds, easily holds, you know, a couple, you know, a big backpack, big tent. You can put a lot in there. Um, plus it also has, as you can see, you have some areas here to strap on. These right here as well. You can use these to strap on backpacks, ground pads, whatever, to your pack. So you don't have to use this for your, your tent and your, uh, your uh, sleeping bag, which is a very nice feature. Um, like with any other external frame, is you have that ability to strap things on a lot better than you can with internals. Uh, the, po in the pocket's very big, very bulky. You can fit a lot in here. Um, the only problem is it does ride up high on your back, and the center of gravity takes some getting, you know, a little time to get used to. As for pockets, I and mean, as you can see, there's actually a lot of webbing on here, and a lot of places to strap things on. This is kind of the precursor to Molly. 
you know, that's I think where the idea came from. Um, there's three pockets in the front. They're kind of tall, long pockets. They, uh, I use them for tools and small things like that. Uh, flashlights, knives, things along those nature. And then there are three main pockets, well not main pockets, pockets in the on the sides. And they have drainage holes, which is nice. So if you do get wet, they do drain, which is good. Um, these actually are the, were meant to hold MREs. So they're sized for MREs, but they work great for, you know, you can jam anything in there. Um, but they were designed for MREs. So if you are doing any kind of like survival camping or using this as a bug out bag, you can use those three pouches for three MREs and then, you know, put some of your tools up here and then your clothes and other supplies in the main pocket. Um, you know, these aren't conventional, you know, backpacks, so you don't get a lot of the fancy nylon webbing and things like that. Or, I'm sorry, the nylon mesh pockets and things like that that you get with the, with the, uh, the fancier stuff. But these are about as basic as you can get, and they are built to last a lifetime. Most of these are, you know, Vietnam era and still going. Uh, this is the medium with no frame. It does have the capability to put a frame into it. So, um, same exact features as the large. You know, you have the replaceable. As you can see, there's little kind of D-rings up there so you can replace your straps. Uh, no hip belt on this because that comes as part of the frame. Um, the only difference between this is the main pocket's a little smaller. It has the same internal pocket, which uh, you could probably, you know, retrofit that to do a... Uh, a hydration bladder and just run it out through you know the corner of the, the bag this bag does not have any pockets on the top the little tool pockets I show you however this one does have some uh, nylon webbing where you can attach maybe smaller pouches with it and it would probably take the molly on there likewise it also has pouches on the side that uh, the large doesn't have and it has the three MRE sized pockets in the front. And these ones, this one model has snaps. Uh, the other one doesn't have snaps. So, nice. Once again, they have the little drainage holes in the bottom in case it gets wet. So your pack doesn't, you know, so it drains out. Um, these are actually pretty waterproof. Spray a little waterproof on these and these are very waterproof. Uh, which is nice. Very durable. And this is all original equipment. I haven't replaced any of the straps or anything like that out yet. Uh, so this is probably going to be close to 40 years. Um, all original. Uh, when you get the Alice pack, that's what you're buying. You're buying a bomb-proof backpack. Something that's good for hundreds of miles and a lifetime of use. Uh, which is nice compared to the modern stuff, which, you know, isn't really built to last a lifetime. Um... Prices on these, I've seen these things from 20 to, you know, $100. Some of the real kind of pretentious Army-Navy stores really uh, jack the prices up on these things. So shop around, and you can get good deals on these online, too. The only problem is you don't get to see the quality before you buy them, which kind of stinks. But these are great bug-out bags. These are great for Boy Scouts, beginning backpackers anyone like that or even if you're just the kind of person who if you're going to be maybe doing some bushcraft stuff and you're going to be off the trails these are good backpacks that won't get torn up by the elements so always a good option if you don't want to ruin your good equipment or if say you do need the capability to uh, strap a lot onto the bottom these are a great backpack if you've got to strap on a big heavy like winter sleeping bag and winter gear um, these are great winter backpacks because they are external frame. External frames go really good in the winter. And there it is. Alice Packs, large and medium. And I hope you enjoyed. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Any uh, criticism is appreciated.